of college, I think of like a little community. It's a, it's kind of like its own little town, and everybody knows each other, and everybody helps each other out. Yeah. So that's what drives us to the kids. <laughs> With our population, yeah, there's there's some difficulties they have on the academic side, but on the social side, they're ahead of us. They know how to get along with each other. And the first year I was here, I was amazed at how tight the group is. I've never seen any organization that, and I was in the Army, so I never saw an organization that could support each other unconditionally as our students did each other. Um, I know in our area in student affairs, uh, over the past couple semesters, we've had students that come in for um, a few hours a week and, and do some work in our office, and so that's been good for all of us to um, meet them and to, to work with them. Um, and I think it, for them it's an opportunity to kind of see how college works and, and for them to be able to get that college experience. So I see them as being, being highly integrated. For me personally, um, it's helped me grow as a person, like being able to be there for, like as a mentor. Um, and I think for CUCA, like I think it's really important for people to have like that experience with people with disabilities and interacting with them to see that they're just normal like everybody else. They just need a little bit of extra help sometimes. Uh, in the classes, I think that Robert has um, brought a sensitivity to the rest of the students um, because because you were willing to share your story yeah. part of it and also because you were in the classroom the other students were um, more careful about how they spoke about students with disabilities yeah, right yeah. don't yeah. you think so yeah and also because you have such a great a lot sense of different contexts but I think what's most important to me is he's here every morning and when I walk through the more through the door, I get greeted with a, somebody who's pleasant, and he starts my day off right almost every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You know, I get here at 7:30, and he's here, and you know that becomes something that means personally. I know he's uh, done some things that made a lot of friends around campus and all, but you know, to me, that's the thing that I personally value with that. You have taught me about perseverance. Okay and inspired me to be the best I can be because you won't accept anything less from me. Okay. And you make me work very hard and um, you impress me every day. Did you know that? I know that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know yourself, you know what you want and what you don't want and you for your life. Yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. very clear about that. Yeah. You're responsible and resourceful. Yeah. You're a visionary. You always think very far ahead. Yeah. And you know how to build very strong, lasting relationships. Yeah. And you deserve a great deal of credit for the success of Drive. Okay. Robert's made his own support network by establishing friendships and relationships with professors and his best friend Tim White. <laughs> and um, he's learning, he's networking. He's learning how to network and he's making friends and just like any other college student does at college. I mean, it's an important part of his life and it will help him for the rest of his life. Because he touches everyone here at Kew College, um, he made it so they could stay in the dorms. He goes out to all the professors and goes to all these meetings. Uh, I've learned from our students and they have hopefully learned from me too so we learn together and what it's done for me and I'm, I'm sure it's done it for the college it's taught us a different way of teaching you, you, you teach to the, your audience and you engage everybody and you can learn from everybody I've known a lot of the people who have been drive since they were kids so some of those people who've been in the DRIVE program, I actually did psychologically vows on when they were in preschool, so I, I've known them for a long, long time, you know, and I've seen them grow, and that's uh, been something that I don't think would have would have happened. I'm sure it wouldn't have happened, given the resources of Penny Ann. Um, you know, so it's added value to, I, this has been clearly a win-win situation for everyone involved. I remember the first time I met you, Robert. Yeah. Um, you and your mom came to visit the program because you read about it in the newspaper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you had been dreaming about going to college forever mm. since you left FASIC. Yeah. 
and yeah. it was your dream for the future that yeah. you wanted to go to college you wanted to live at college yeah. and at that time drive was only for students that are uh, school age so we talked about that yeah. and you and your mom wrote me a letter so yes. asking me to apply for adult funding so that you could be part of the program as well. Yeah. And um, so I submitted that letter to um, OPWDD. Okay. And they said yes, we could add adults. Okay. And you were in that first class coming in. Well, I think it's important because it's, CUC is one of the few schools around that has a program like this and it provides a unique experience for not just the dry students, but the professors, just everyone here. I think we all benefit from it. How do you see drive students? I see them as individuals. I see them as determined individuals. I see them as great individuals. It's not just good for him. Um, Robert brings joy to everybody he meets, including myself. I love to see his smiling face every morning. I love it when he karate chops the button to open the door for me every morning and tells me that I'm late, even when I'm not. <laughs> so. You see, if you go to the cafeteria, everybody's eating together, and it's a really nice thing to see. I love Dev. I love you. I love you too much. If he has an idea, which he has multiple ideas a day for starting new things, <laughs> he knows the right person to approach to get it done, you know, and um, he does that actively. He's a self-advocate. It is a heart. The heart in me. That is hard. We have it. That means me.